Now, from outcasts and lawbreakers to unlikely champions of the legal profession. A former death row inmate of Luzira Maximum Prison and two others are now part of an elite class of students after they graduated with law degrees from the University of London. Now, they actually studied behind bars in Uganda's prisons, which are well known for their successful educational programs. In fact, so impressive have the results been that a politician in the country has gone as far as to question Uganda's continued use of capital punishment. The BBC's Patricia Oyela reports now from Kampala. A few years ago, Susan Chigula could not have imagined she'd be here. The former death row inmate served 16 years in jail. Today, she's not only free, but a graduate of law. The remarkable ceremony hosted in the grounds of Luzira Maximum Security Prison in Kampala celebrated three students who were the first ever to graduate after studying at the prison. Susan was joined by former convict Moses Ekwam and Pascal Kakuru, who is still an inmate as they each received undergraduate law degrees from the University of London. Prisoners are human beings who can error like anyone else, but who can change for the better. I want people to know that we don't need the death penalty in our country. Had I been executed, I would not be here sharing my story with you. The country's deputy chief justice, moved by what the graduates have achieved, said that he believes there is need for more reforms. Even as a judicial officer, you begin wondering whether the death sentence should be in our statute books at all. <laughs> Leave alone the death sentence being a discretionary award. You begin questioning because the person who was on the wrong side of the law yesterday, only yesterday, could be the best influence on society today. The success of the graduates here at Luzira Maximum Prison looms large. It might not only renew interest in some inmates to seek for justice, but also cause a wave of change from within the prison walls. Kakuru, currently serving his sentence for murder, is due for release next year. Like Chigula, he plans to focus his efforts on campaigning for improved access to justice. They are supported by the African Prisons Project, an organization that is working to improve the dignity of prisoners. One of the other challenges is how willing is society ready to accept these guys who are coming from prisons back. And they're coming change people, they're coming back resourceful persons, they're coming back people who are focused and driven, who don't want to waste any more time. You know, they just want to drive the agenda of the nation and make it even a better place. It may seem an unlikely place for champions of law to emerge, but with around 5,000 prisoners currently studying at various levels in Uganda's prison service, we could see more graduations like this. Patricia Oyela, BBC News, Kampala.